Hello YouTube. My customer is asking how to adjust the flute. So I went on YouTube and I tried to find a video that explains how to use adjustment screws to adjust your flute. But apparently there is not a single one that like is simple and like clear that you can actually see and understand what to do. So, <clears throat> I have to make a video myself. So, what you need is leak light or a really, really good eye <clears throat> so that you could see the adjustments. So, leak light, there's so many. This is like a Christmas light that I use, I just cut them. Um, you stick it in so you need to adjust F with F sharp E with F sharp D with F sharp F F sharp A sharp A with A sharp and then also C with C sharp on the foot joint those are like the basic adjustments that you want to do and also the thumb lever with a sharp so we're going to go through that Th those are like the basic things that go off on the flute and make your flute not play so let's start let's say with d and f sharp so you want to lightly press d and see what's going on See, this flute is totally like out of adjustment. So what you see is neither of the keys is actually closing. So what I see here is this key is up and this is down. But even if I press in this one, there's like a leak in the entire front of the key which means that the back of the key is closing first. So you can take a piece of like a credit card, cut it like this, or you can take a piece of credit card, cut it like this, and then put tape around. So it makes it a little bit thicker. And then you can stick this in the back of the key. See, I'm gonna slide it in so that it it's on top of the tone hole in the back of the key and then i'm going to press the front of the key and that's going to bend the entire cup see now the key is closing so that's a little trick. You could do that on any key. So basically you slide the credit card under the key in between the tone hole and the cup, and then you press wherever you need to press. If the pad is touching in one spot and not in the other, so you press where it's touching, and then you press on the key where it's not touching until you get the key to seat. So now that we adjusted this one, what we see, see here is the D is up and F sharp is down. So we need to unscrew the screw that's probably either like here or in the back depends on the flute. So on this flute, the screw is hidden in the back, here, on the lug. So you take a precision flathead screwdriver, and there's going to be two screws. The first screw here is for the D key. So we need to unscrew that one until 
we get the right adjustment here. So I unscrewed a little, but we still need it. See, this one came back, so I'm going to press it again. Sometimes you need something thicker, like a piece of leather. I mean, this flute is not even padded. That's why it's so grossly out of adjustment. But now that I'm showing you the adjustments, I can show you some tricks too. How you can adjust the seating of a key without even taking it apart. And this is done in factories too. So now we have a situation where this one is also touching in the back and not in the front. So, I adjusted that too. So what we have now, basically, these two keys are closing together. I could work more on it, you know, I see more leaks, but anyway, you know what to do. Basically, these two keys need to close exactly together. Also, when you press these down, you press E and F down, and then you press D down. You have to check if D is closing, because sometimes D will, clo will close with F sharp, but when E and F are down, it may not. So in this case, actually it's not, so you have to unscrew a little more. But the problem here is actually that it's heavy in the back. We call it heavy in the back, means it's touching in the back and not in front. So I'm going to unscrew just a little bit so that the D is closing also when E and F are down. See, normally what happens is like when you press like this, it's fine. Or it's even closing before F sharp. But when this, when F and D, E are down, then D is late with F sharp. So that's a common problem. Flute is not a perfect instrument, and especially a student flute is not a perfect. So... You have to make a compromise. You have, if you have to make a compromise where D is not the same when these two are down with F sharp, then you have to do something in the middle. So it's basically better that F sharp is a little late with D. It will still play. If this is a little bit late, it will still you will get the F sharp. But if D is late when E and F are down, then the D will not come out. So you have to make a compromise like that. Okay, so let's say D is done now. Now E. So I'm pressing E. Now we have split E. Split E can even be this much late. Like the, the low G, the arm that's connected to E here is pressing low G down. This doesn't exactly have to close the G. It can just hover above it. What's important is that E and F sharp close together, or that F sharp is just a little tiny bit up. But you never want E to be up, means late with F sharp. So this is exactly what we have here. 
E is late with F sharp, so I'm going to unscrew this screw here. A little bit. So if E and F sharp are like closing exactly at the same time, that's fine. But it's always safer that E closes first and F sharp closes a little bit up after E. That's safer because this connection you only need for the trill, for trilling, uh, from E to F sharp. Otherwise, if you want to play F sharp, you play with D. Some people use this key to close the F sharp in some situations. So anyway, now we have D F sharp adjusted, E F sharp and low G adjusted, which is splitty. Now F F sharp. So you have three keys that close together. F, F sharp, A sharp. So when I close F, I see that F sharp is closing first, and F and A sharp are not even closed. So I see that this is more up than F. That means that I can just lift F sharp a little bit, then this will come down more, and this will come down more. So I'm going to do that first. So there should be a screw either somewhere here on top or hidden in the, in the back, which we have here. So I'm going to unscrew it a little bit. And look at the F, F sharp. So this closes fairly together. Now this is a little late. So if this is a little late, it will actually play. But maybe this is a little too late. Actually, what we have here is again, the back of the key is closing before the front. So I'm going to put the slick in, credit card, and push the front. So I leveled this key. Now when I press this, this is a little bit up, but actually this should be fine. If you want it exactly to close together with F and F sharp, the adjustment for that is here, this thing. So what you want to do is press A sharp here, turn the flute around, and then press this thing down. You're going to actually bend the metal. So I'm going to press it down. And now this is closing before F and F sharp. So that's little, that's not a good situation. This should never close before F and F sharp because then nothing from from F sharp down is going to play because you're going to have a leak here. That means that I pressed this lock, the back connector, I pressed too much. So I just do the opposite. I just push it with my finger up a little. So you can press it down, push it up until this closes. And depends on the metal, I don't know how hard you need to to push and press. But this seems fine now. Just a little bit leak of a leak here, but A sharp is actually going to play. If you want to check A sharp by itself, you press on the shaker here. So that's fine. So this should play. Then we also need to adjust the G. Let's see. You want to press on the upper G. And everything's leaking right now. 
So, if a person a loji, it's also leaking. That means in the front. So, again, this flute seems to have leaks in front on all the keys. So this one too. No, this one is fine. Okay, so the upper G is closing after the lower G. That means I need to unscrew the screw that's going to be either up here or again hidden in the back. So I have this is like all the way in there. And I'm going to unscrew it a little. So, it seems fine now. And then A and A sharp should close exactly the same time. Here, A is a little late with A sharp. So the screw is either here or in the back. So this flute, everything's hidden in the back. So I'm gonna unscrew this screw because A is closing after A sharp. So now this is fine too. So we got everything connected on the main line. This is called the main line. Now you want to check the thumb with A sharp. And this is just fine. So if this is closing before the thumb, that means that this kicker, it's called the kicker, whatever you have in between there, you know, they have so Chinese flutes, they have felt. So you can't really do anything. It's synthetic felt. You can't really do anything about it. You have to move the metal up or down. Or you can also like, but this is more like a trick. You adjust this felt here. So maybe it's missing something. You can add stuff to it, like a piece of paper. Or if it's too thick, you can try to sand it down or you can work on the kicker so anyway that's how you adjust that there's no screw similarly there is no screw for the foot joint so C and C sharp there's no adjustment screw but we want them to close together. So this one is not so bad, but I see a leak on the side and I see that it's closing on this side. So I'm gonna put a piece of leather here and press on the opposite side until I have no more leak. So there's no more leak here. And there's still no, no leak here. Just a little bit, but that's from pressing. So the pad's gonna come back. I press the pad and it's gonna come back a little bit. But the adjustment is fine. So basically, if this is going to be very often up, if you press on the, on the C roller, this will not close with C many times because when you keep pressing on the C-sharp lever, this is called the lever for C-sharp, you actually bend this arm because it's not like a titanium steel or something. It's just uh, copper nickel or silver is like even softer. Unless you have a Powell, and Powell has 
This key, made out of white gold, even on silver flutes, just to make it harder so that you don't bend this lever and get it out of adjustment. But if you do, and I guarantee you will. So, see, I'm going to press on this and make it out of the, out of the adjustment to demonstrate. See, that's what I did. What I did, I pressed on this, and now this is out of adjustment. So what you need to do, you put your thumb firmly on the cup, and you take this and push it up with your finger. And it's back in adjustment. So basically, this, if you push the cup down, you can bend the metal, this lever. You can push it up, press it down, until these two close at the same time. There you go. That's how you adjust the flute. See ya.